Hello, I am Jill from jillwoods.com and this is a really short video to show you how to use a free tool called PicMonkey to um, crop and resize images. I was talking to a few practitioners this week and they were struggling with the concept of editing images to put on their website, for social media and for uh, Google My Business pages. So this is just a really quick thing just to show you what you can do with PicMonkey. Now PicMonkey is an enormous tool that you can do the most exciting and extraordinary things with, um, with images, but this video is just to show you how to um, crop and resize an image so that you can use it in various places online. Okay, so first of all, you have to go to www.pickmonkey.com and you will end up at this page here. You don't have to sign in, you don't need to register, it's free, it's fabulous. Um, so if you just click on edit, it will take you to um, your computer where you can select the image that you want to edit. So I'm going to do this one and it'll up upload it. Now obviously the first thing I want to do with this is rotate it. So let's rotate it round. So I've got it the right way. Okay. And let's apply that. Now the if you just click on resize you can see how big the image is. All right. Now for a lot of internet uses these images are far too big so they need to be made smaller. But often before I resize them I actually crop them. So let's cancel that. So let's go to crop first and it just gives us this box that we can slide around, we can resize, we can pull it around so we can just include the bits that we want to include on um, on the image. So let's just do that and let's do that um, and let's probably just tweak that a little bit. Okay, so that's okay. So I'm going to apply that. Then now I've cropped it, now I can resize it to the, a sensible size. Now I want to use this as a header for my um, uh, blog, so I'm going to make it a thousand. And you can see if I keep this button ticked here, keep proportions, as I resize one of the boxes, um, the other will automatically follow so that it keeps the right proportions in the picture. Okay, so I am now just going to tick, uh, press click apply, and then I'm going to come up to the top here and click save and it's going to say what you want to call it. So I'm just going to call this uh, Jill Woods Certificates. And then I'm going to click Save to my computer. And it's going to say, where do you want to save it? I'm just going to save it to the desktop, so that's fine. And then we get this little dancing monkey down here, and it says Masterpiece Saved. That's it. We're done. Um, so that's it. That's really quick fire how to uh, crop and resize an image on uh, using PicMonkey. Any questions at all, put it in the box below this video, as always, and I will get back to you. Other than that, um, thank you for your time today, and I hope this has helped you kind of grasp and master the art a little bit of preparing images to use for your practice online.